morning and welcome to daytime. Happy start of your week after the long weekend. Yes. Valentine's I, Day and Family Day. I love it. I love the back-to-back -back jacks. I love having that day off after Halloween or uh, Valentine's Day. It was phenomenal. <laughs> Grammys were on last night as well, and you know what? I didn't watch them, but our Grammys are on right now. We got Jason McCoy in the house. Jason McCoy. Familiar Grammys? Face. You, this is your version. This is of the my Grammys, Grammys right well, you now. You gotta aim higher, pal. <laughs> no way. This is it. Did you me. watch the Grammys? Did you actually I watch did. it? I did, and you're no stranger to award shows yourself. Uh, no. Uh, you know what? I, I love award shows. It's always fun, and because uh, you get a free meal. I mean, come on. <laughs> what, what, what can go wrong? But uh, now you were stuck in traffic on the way up here. I Let, was. Let's talk about the important yes. stuff. You look fantastic, and you've been <laughs> in traffic. I'm just a wreck after that. Right? So two hours it took me to get here, but who cares? That's a moot a, point. Do you utilize the horn? I, I scream. Are you a horn honker? I'm a scream, and I, I am a screamer, and I'm really mad when people, like, cut mm. in front of me when the roads are like this. Do you have a certain music that you play to de-stress you in traffic? Yeah, it's called Born Again in Dixieland. Oh, oh my goodness. Nicely done. <laughs> play into the crowd. Love you. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So Jason McCoy is here. We have a big fundraiser mm -hmm. coming up for Barry Central Collegiate. Absolutely. As we know, uh, school is, is shutting down, so they're doing a, a big fundraiser and a big reunion coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can talk to us about that, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, uh, Barry Central Collegiate is, uh, of course, one of the, uh, if not the first school here in Barry for high school. My dad went there. And uh, a lot of my cousins did. I went there for a short little stint. Now I'm uh, there's a commercial floating around that says I I am Central Zone. I, I'm actually <laughs> went to Barry North, mm. so I wore the green and gold. Uh, very proudly, I must say, but uh, very proud of Central as well. I did attend there while we were moving. I was placed there for a little while, but um, it just you know it's got a lot of history for me. Some of the first shows I saw were actually at the theater there. So to actually play there is it's it's uh, pretty neat. Barry yeah. Central also has some pretty well known graduates as mm -hmm. well. An Ontario Premier, we got a couple mayors and mm -hmm. some rugby superstars. And I gotta say, um, speaking of mayors, uh, Mayor Lehman has been uh, he's gonna be playing there with his band and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun because he's he's a true musician and I think he's really put a stamp on Barry as a live music town. And that was that was a big thing and uh, and it's something that he very consciously put a group of people together to do. So uh, really neat to see a leader do that kind of thing and turn our downtown into something that promotes live music. Very true, because there's there's a live music at probably 12 bars every single night. I yeah. love going downtown. And you, yeah. There's tons of talent in this area as well. So any chance they can get to perform, uh, I'm all for it. And I love mm -hmm. I love the fact that he is making that a mm -hmm. um, a point of of um, focus for him. Now, Absolutely. What's it, what's it like when you come back and play in Barry? Oh, it's it's fun. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a family reunion in a lot of ways. <laughs> a lot of familiar faces and. Uh, it's uh, it's fun. I, some of my favorite shows I ever do are, are around home. Plus, I get to sleep in my own bed, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but we travel a lot with my band, the Hammers, the Road Hammers. We just played the uh, Toronto Auto Show, so um, that was a, a good one close to home. But this way, uh, with the uh, show on the 27th, I'm going to be playing my own solo music, but I'm also going to be playing some songs from the uh, Hammers, and we'll play some new songs too. And so, being um, a successful solo musician and doing the the band thing and the group mm -hmm. thing, which do you prefer? Uh, both. People say, is it better to uh, make all the decisions yourself or have a group do them? And it's actually both is the best. Uh, you, sometimes you, you, you're, you're as strength as a team, right? And uh, I love having uh, Clayton's influence in what we do and Chris and as the hammers. And then being a solo guy, you just kind of you just kind of wing it sometimes and see what happens. But uh, both are both are great. It's quite band an adventure. Brothers behind you. Which is <laughs> That's right. You've heard of Ship of Fools or just a bus <laughs> of idiots. So now we were chatting a little early, and you said you're kind of in writing mode right now. What is your process like? How do you? Uh, do you if it this? rhymes, it, it gets recorded. <laughs> if I, if I can muster a rhyme, we're good. Um, my writing process is. Um, it's different all the time. Okay. I've actually just, um, I, I usually go off a title. So if I hear a, a, tur a turn of a phrase or something, um, I'll make sure to note that and then find a melody and a groove for it and that kind of stuff. Or sometimes you get, well, more often than not, you get inspired by another artist, you know? So you hear something new on the radio or on YouTube or whatever it is, or you go see a live band and uh, just something they do. Maybe it's even a guitar solo and you're like, I love that tone. Maybe you could do this with a drum groove and next thing you know you've made up a song and it just happens you know that's very cool. unfortunately i could have been a dentist you know <laughs> you get influences from maybe everywhere it's not you have yeah i really do and and my daughter and my son my daughter's nine my son is six and uh, i really like being at home and soaking up their energy and seeing things through their eyes it actually uh it's, it brings a whole new perspective to everything 
So something you may have visited, you know, 10 years ago now is a, a whole new world. So, uh, and the song we're going to play today is actually a Road Hammer song, and I'm going to enlist your super talents to sing with me. This song was inspired by my kids, and uh, we have a farm out in Minnesing, which is, um, you know, we don't grow anything in particular except for mud. <laughs> and so we decided to write a song called Mud. Now, if you uh, sing mud backwards or you just spell it backwards, it's the collective IQ of our Road Hammer band. <laughs> Here. Every time I look at you, I need you to yell mud. Okay. Yeah. Make eye contact. Mud! That was it! <laughs> so you mud. just had one big shot, and that was it. Now, what do we go? Okay. Did I miss it? Here we go. Mud. mud. Very nice. Mud. 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 <laughs> backyard, little boy, a big yellow, tonka toy, turtle pool, a full of dirt. Grab the holes and give her a squirt. You got mud. mud. Yeah. You got mud. mud. Yeah, you're good. You want to go on the road? Yes. <laughs> Snack time. A back door. A footprints. A white floor. A poor mama. A big fit. But I'm standing there happy as a pig and mud. mud. All over my clothes. <laughs> coming out my nose. Mud. <laughs> Oozing up to my toes. And I always end up in the mud. mud. And I can't get enough of that mud. And my first love was mud. <laughs> well, I thought life couldn't get no gooder. Out of the woods come a real good looker. Moonshine fine, sweeter than sugar. Sitting in her Jeep, looking at me. The girl of my dreams, buried rim deep in mud. You look too pretty to be playing in the mud. You too. <laughs> you ever get out there and just, you know? You, I am the definition of a farm girl. For real? For real. No, and you too. You're the definition. <laughs> I'm the definition of a farm girl, yes. <laughs> I am. A little M-U-D spells you and me are getting way down deep. A little good, clean fun. Hey, come on and get your song. Come on, ever wanna say mud? mud. Hell, yeah, mud. mud. All over my coat. Mud. I'm coming out my nose. Mud. I'm oozing up through my toes. <laughs> mud. Well, I always end up in the mud. mud. And I can't get enough of that mud. My first love was Jason mud. Jason McCoy, thank mud. you so much. There you have Jeff it. And Jen. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you gotta, Jason. You gotta come on the show on the 27th. And do that much. Oh, you bet. <laughs> Stay with us. Lots more coming up on Daytime. Come on.